It's easy to take water for granted. The U.S. enjoys some of the safest drinking water in the world, with well-engineered and managed community water supply systems, including state-of-the-art water treatment systems. But this is not the case everywhere. In fact, it's estimated that one in 10 people around the world still do not have a safe water supply close to home. Many of those live in sub-Saharan Africa. Hundreds of millions of people, mostly women and children, spend countless hours traveling or lining up to find and collect unprotected water. They're also forced to cope with the health impacts of using contaminated water. Water is the essential building block of life. It contributes to improving people's health and well-being, including supporting economic, social, and human development. Unfortunately for many, water does not come as easy as turning on a faucet. I think many people in this country take water for granted. Often we can go to our tap in our kitchen or our bathroom and open it and expect water to come out. However, people in the developing world often collect their water from open water sources, such as rivers and streams, which are often highly contaminated. Uh, the water is very poor quality, and when it's consumed, can make them ill. And not only are they collecting uh, water from these sources, they're very distant from their houses, so they have to travel long distances uh, carrying water in containers such as buckets on their head uh, to get the water to their homes. Catholic Relief Services has worked in water development for more than 50 years. More than 8 million beneficiaries have been touched through 62 projects in 32 countries. The National Council of Catholic Women, in partnership with CRS, is working to expand water access in the developing world through a program called Water for Life. People around the world are getting help finding, tapping, and managing cleaner water sources. The Water for Life program, which began in 1978, supports water-related projects that reduce disease, improve agricultural viability, and offer disaster relief. This is done by working with local communities, including local diocesan partners, to improve their wash or water supply, sanitation, and hygiene conditions. What we say at CRS is that water is life and sanitation is health. Implementing just water supply projects is not the full answer. WASH programming seeks to better the health, well-being, and environment of the people we serve. Effective and integrated water programming brings health benefits to the poorest and most remote communities, supports emergency response efforts, and contributes to the sustainability of water and other natural resources. Safiata's life took a turn when her husband died she became the breadwinner and caretaker for nine children and 16 grandchildren, many of whom continued to live with her in Burkina Faso. Although Safiata had land for farming corn, onions, and other crops, Burkina Faso's climate is often dry, making it difficult to farm all year. Another plot of land which Safiata received from CRS's Helping Hands project helps her grow enough food to sell a portion of her harvest and use that income to support her family. But Safiata and farmers like her know that without water, there are fewer opportunities. Safiata and other farmers received training on how to make sure their limited water supply works for them. CRS supports WASH programs in coordination with the three strategic priority areas of the agency 
agriculture and livelihoods, emergencies, and health. Like Safiata has found out, water is necessary for agriculture. Better water management allows communities to sustain and even improve the quantity and quality of their water sources, which means higher quality crop yields, healthier animals, and better overall health. We work with farmers to manage rainfall. We work with farmers to collect rainfall to improve soil moisture and prevent soil erosion. We work with communities to provide water for all their water needs. That includes domestic purposes like cooking, drinking, and personal hygiene, and productive ones, such as irrigation, livestock care, food processing, and other water-related industries. We try to reduce the risks of natural and human-caused emergencies through water, sanitation, and hygiene programming. Our goal is to create sustainable community management of water resources. With good use of water, there is increased household access to nutrition and more agricultural opportunities. When farmers increase production, farmer groups organize, innovate, and compete in markets. Management of water and other natural resources also allows communities to prepare for, mitigate, and cope with disasters. In emergency situations, access to clean water, sanitation, and toilet services enables people to stay healthy while they cope during these stressful periods. More than a third of the global population, about 2.3 billion people, do not have access to improved sanitation facilities such as flush toilets and covered latrines or outhouses. CRS has made significant strides to improve latrine coverage at the household and institutional levels, particularly at schools. Community participation and empowerment is key. CRS works to improve access to safe drinking water by rehabilitating or installing new low-cost water supply systems. By involving community members, government water departments, civil society, and the private sector in the planning, design, and maintenance and repair, CRS works to ensure that the new or rehabilitated water systems will not just serve a community for a few years, but indefinitely. So what we say in our work is that the hardware is the easy part, the hardware being the construction of the actual water supply system itself. And the software is the difficult part. And what we mean by software is the repairs, the maintenance, the operations of the system, including ownership of the system. What we're trying to do is put the responsibility of ownership in the hands of the community. After all, the water supply system is for them. It's estimated that women and children spend 200 million hours each day collecting water. CRS works with communities to address issues surrounding water scarcity and insufficient water supply services, affecting the schooling of young girls and the education of women. CRS projects that bring water to villages and urban areas can free women from the burden of transporting water and permit them to work or give them more time to spend with their families. Safe, clean, easy, accessible water. Water is life and you play a part in bringing that life to communities all over the world. With your help, we can build and rehabilitate more water and sanitation systems, train communities to manage and maintain them, respond to emergencies, help people feed their families and raise healthier children, and grow economic futures around the world. In the spirit of our Lord, who offered us living water, help us offer water for life. The need is still there. We still have a responsibility to meet these water and sanitation challenges. If you're interested in making a donation to the Water for Life project, please make gifts payable to Catholic Relief Services. Write Water for Life on the memo line and send to Catholic Relief Services, 228 West Lexington Street, Baltimore, Maryland, 21201-3443. View other works of peace and reconciliation created by Catholic Relief Services and the National Council of Catholic Women at crs.org slash nccw. For more information about CRS and their projects around the world, please visit crs.org.